All right, today we're going to install Pro Tools 10.3.10 on El Capitan. As you can see here, Pro Tools 10.3 only works with um, Mountain Lion, and I've got El Capitan. Damn. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to trick the system today. Um, and how we're going to do that is we're going to go to the system uh, folder, and we're going to go to the s we're going to find a uh, in the system folder. We're going to find a library folder, and we're going to find after that a uh, core services folder <coughs> and then we're going to get info on that and as you can see only the system can write no matter what kind of changes you do nothing will actually allow you to write to this folder or make modifications but we will change that um, inside this folder there is a system version dot po list um, and uh, if we get information on that we can see here that we're running 10.11.2 just as I had uh, said that we were. Um, so I'm going to copy that to my desktop because I'm allowed to do that and make a backup copy of that. So it will have the, my current system, the backup copy will have my current system's uh, information on it. Uh, once I do that, I will open up the copied version, uh, not the backup, but the copied version and change it to 10.9. Um, that will then trick the system, but before we can copy that file into the core services file, we'll need to actually go into a develop developer's mode and um, actually do some work here. So uh, as you can see here, I'm changing the file name uh, down to 10.9, um, and that that will revert um, the operating system, uh, or at least trick any uh, operating or any applications from running. Um, but um <coughs> and I'll verify with a get, get information and we'll view the information on that file as you can see here if I scroll down just 10.9 and so all hunky dory but now I can't copy it for some reason. Hmm. Okay. So what we're going to do is restart and we're going to type in a command to disable um integrity uh protection and then um once we have that disabled or we'll restart we'll be able to copy in that file into the folder and we'll be good to go installing wise. Um, so let's go ahead and restart. Um, <coughs> what I'm going to do now is hold down the option key of my keyboard while my system is booting. Um, this option key will bring up a series of submenus that I will can then boot into like Windows or Recovery Media. We will take advantage of that those menus and actually boot into Recovery Media. So as you can see here, um, fuck, this is actually... Uh, my computer seems to be broken. Um, it's actually not on. Uh, all right, and as you hear the chime, press option, and it will boot into the recovery media, as you can see here, 10.11.2 recovery media. And because um, we, we actually want to change that and make it, make it seem like we're actually running 10.9. This is not advised to do. I should uh, also say that, that you should not do this. Um, once this is, uh, once we change this, um, with this command and then restart, um, we can copy the folder into the core services folder, install Pro Tools, and then when we install Pro Tools, I'm actually get, it'll tell us to restart. We can't do anything else other than that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually open up the Virtual Instruments installer and install that because I'm still running 10.9, and I, I'm really not sure if it'll run in 10.11.2. So what I'm going to do is actually, yeah, I'm taking a couple swigs while I'm talking, but what I'm going to do is uh, install that and then recopy back the 10.11.2 just rename that backup folder as the system, uh, you know, system version, and then rename it as 10.11.2 inside the file. Copy it back. Type in my admin password. But uh, here we're going to go to utilities, and then type in the terminal, or click on the terminal. I mean, and then after you click on the terminal, you're going to type in this command. It's going to be csr util, and that command has at least as far as I know, three statuses, um, or three switches, I should say, that you can use. CSR util, and the I'm going to do the status command just so we can see a status of whether this is actually on or off. Um, and when I do that, um, it says that it is going to be on, and status is enabled, the integrity protection is in enabled, so I'm going to say disable. I'm going to turn that off. That effectively allows me to write to the core services folder, allowing me to trick my system into thinking that I've got 10.9 and install Pro Tools 10. Um, so we're going to go ahead and restart, because it's saying we're going to need to restart. <coughs> and we'll take this time to just relax while my computer restarts. Um, <coughs> so then... Uh, once I install both the uh, Pro Tools and the Virtual Instruments, I will uh, rename that backup file uh, as System 
uh, version and then change the contents of that to be 10.11.2 and then copy that back into the core services folder and then restart my computer. Uh, as you can see here, core services, um, I'm actually, now that I'm able to write to that, I'm just going to go ahead and take that, uh, the already edited 10.9 file and copy it into, it's going to ask me to authenticate. This is the same process for re-upgrading back to it. Type in the administrator's password to that computer. Uh, I've obviously got the administrator account, so. <laughs> um, yeah, get info, we'll see here that, uh, it's it's actually 10.9 so i've tr i've tricked you know any any kind of uh people from thinking that i've got they w i got to buy more software uh when we start the install you can see the virtual instruments one so pretty much uh it'll close out of all of your applications which is why i switched to my phone but it doesn't actually close out of any finder windows so uh while this is installing the installer is going i just click on the background launch the image of the virtual installer agree to it um and then I install it with it because this, this install screen will ask you to restart. So I just ignore that, install the virtual instrument, and then I'm going to, after I do that, uh, replace, because you can still use the finder, just change the name of that file, the plist backup and the contents of it, and then you, you'll see here in a minute. It's going to go by super quick, but just, just hang on. I mean, y you get the idea. I'm saving the recording, so then I'm going to, changing the name and then I'm going to copy it back into the core services restart and I'll be able to run Pro Tools I won't have to buy a new software um, and it actually didn't take 8 minutes to install or 14 it only took like 4 uh, but I have a solid state hard drive and 16 gigs of RAM there I'm installing the virtual instruments folder and as you can see restart behind me is still up there and now I'm swapping out the version system version with 10 and now that we it, it, that was my bad. I didn't mean to record it that quick, but you can only really do it once unless you uninstall and I'm not doing that. But um, so yeah, so now if I'm going to go ahead and launch Pro Tools just to verify that the system uh, can actually run it without it glitching or something because, you know, some people would think that it might. Um, but I haven't actually loaded all the plugins yet, so um, <coughs> I got a couple that are missing, but <coughs> that'll be for another time. We can open up, uh, I usually just deny incoming connections just because, uh, you know, I don't want any hackers out there stealing my shit, uh, but I'll open up a session just so we can see that it works, but, uh, the only problem that i found is that sometimes when you hit restart, the computer doesn't actually restart, so you'll have to go down to the dock and then open up a program in the dock, and then you'll have your top, like, uh, bar menu, and then when you have that top bar menu, you type in terminal and then type in, the, like, a pseudo, uh, restart uh, or shut sudo shutdown dash r now command and then that'll restart your computer or shut it down to fit, or dash h is shut down dash r is restart um, you have to type that in and actually shut it down but uh, I don't know you'll see here uh, well actually it doesn't show you I'll just show you that's fine watch it's fine yeah pro tools thanks for watching guys